In this video, we'll be solving the integral from 0 to pi of e to the 2x times sine 3x dx. First, let's ignore the limits and let's just solve the integral. For that, we have to use integration by parts. Let u be sine 3x and let dv be e to the 2x dx. So now the derivative of u is 3 cosine 3x and the antiderivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x over 2. Next, we're going to multiply u and v and subtract it by the integral of v du. And so this is the integral that we get. We're going to apply integration by parts one more time, and that's going to be for this part right here. So let's ignore e to the 2x over 2 sine 3x minus 3 halves. So we'll, we'll say u is cosine 3x and dv is e to the 2x. So the derivative of cosine 3x is negative 3 sine 3x. And then the antiderivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x over 2. So now what we do is multiply u with v to get e to the 2 cosine e to the 2x over 2 cosine 3x, and then minus integral v du, which is this part right here. Now we just need to simplify. So we're going to apply this negative 3 halves to both e to the 2x over 2 cosine 3x and to this part. So we get negative 3 fourths as a coefficient of the first term here, and then negative 3 halves times minus negative 3 halves becomes negative 9 fourths. Now let's keep this in mind. What we're solving for here is the integral of the original problem. So integration by parts is just rewriting the integral. So these two are equal and notice that this is one integral sine 3x e to 2x dx but this is negative 9 fourths times the same integral. So we're going to add both sides by 9 fourths times that integral. And that's going to give us 13 over 4 times the integral. I want to solve for just the integral, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 over 13. And then I'm going to distribute the 4 over 13 to get this. Now, finally, I can solve for the original question, the integral from 0 to pi. So integrating from 0 to pi, we take this expression and use the fundamental theorem of calculus, part 2, and plug in pi first, and then plug in 0 last, and subtract the two results. So if I plug in pi, I end up with 3 over 13 e to the 2 pi. If I plug in 0, I have 3 over, negative 3 over 13, subtracting them the negative 3 over 13 becomes positive. And so I have 3 over 13 times the quantity e to the 2 pi plus 1. And that is my final answer. 